Good afternoon, you two. My name is Reverend Lance. Today, I want to talk about the reincarnated personality. I was having a discussion with a friend, and we were talking about um, psychiatrists and doctors. And I was saying, well, if I was a psychiatrist, I would prescribe my patients uh, Zyprexa because it really helps. He said something really funny that made me think about this topic. He said, well, if I was a psychiatrist, I would prescribe my patients sex. And I said to myself, well, Sigmund Freud has been reincarnated, y'all. Because that's the type of language Sigmund Freud would have said if he, and he was a psychoanalyst. He said penis is important. He was all about penis envy is what the woman is suffering from and and how she needs sex to cope with what's going on in her life. That's really interesting. So I do believe that a personality never dies. Also, a personality always remains uh, immortal, uh, meaning it never dies. It's like God. It never goes away. Because someone, there's one key thing that can remind you of someone that you love, that it'll it'll blend in with that. So, personalities never die. Therefore, as in the case of my mother, she hated Judge Judy. I met a lady who also hates Judge Judy. So, my mother's personality been reincarnated. So I personally believe that a personality never dies. It always gets reincarnated, good or bad. With the rotten apple theory, you take away one rotten apple, in theory, there will be world peace if that were possible. But since there's no such thing as world peace, we have the rotten apple, and if you take away that rotten apple, there will always be a rotten apple to replace, a person to replace that rotten apple, in theory. So, um, I love explaining this theory because, you know, we talk about world peace, we talk about fighting for it, but in theory, it's impossible to attain because of that rotten apple. Also, people did what they did in history because they were living in fear. Fear is, I'm not excusing what took place in history, but people were living in fear. Fear is the explanation, the best explanation to explain why things happened the way they did in history.